All right, welcome back to uh, how to here. This is the commonly asked question is how to use the mouse to scroll the view when you have a really wide room, uh, something like this. So the mouse goes to the side and the room scrolls. I'm going to do two different versions here. I like call this one sort of the lame version where the scroll speed is just constant. And then I'll do the next one where when you're over here, it'll actually go faster if you're far out to the side and slows down as you come towards the center. Now, if you don't know how to use views, and this thing here, like view x, view 0, makes no sense to you, you should go watch one of the how-tos on how to use views, because it is sort of used in this video, and we expect you to sort of know what that is. So let's get started on this one. What we're going to do here is you're going to see how I've set up my room. I have a really wide room, 2,000 wide, and I've decided to use views on it. So in the views, I'm using view 0. It's enabled. It's visible when the room starts, and you'll see here the box I've selected is I've made my view window 400 pixels wide, remember that number, and then the full 200 tall of my room. Not so important for this one, but this 400 is important. Here's the basic idea that I want to do. As this view moves left and right, I'm going to base it purely on the location of the mouse, X position. So... If you can picture this being what I'm looking at right now inside of this box, that's 400 wide, when the mouse is a little bit to the right of the center, I want to slowly scroll to the right. If my mouse is to the left of the center of that window, I want to scroll to the left. Now there's a tiny bit of math here. It's just addition. Uh, let's take a peek at the little Photoshop file here. Pretend this is my big 2,000 long room. And you'll see here it's nice, 2,000. And let's just say this happens to be where my view is inside the room. So you'll see here I'm at 600 X position. And if it's 400 wide, then 600 plus 400 is 1,000 at the rightmost. And of course, the center would be 600 plus 200, right? Half of 400, which gets us to 800. Now, when I move this window, so let me just pick it up and move it. Why isn't it moving here? That isn't good. When I start to move it, you'll see here if this view window becomes at 700, same thing is still true. 200 pixels over gets me to the center. So it's 900. Okay, and the edge is still 400 away at 1100. Now I'm going to use this knowledge plus the knowledge that I always know where my view window is. That's that variable, view x view 0. That tells me the x position of this top corner right here. So I always know where that corner is. And all I have to do is compare the mouse position to the center position of the view using this corner for help. So let's see what I've done here. Here's the simple version number one. I have one object in this whole room, the control object. And you'll see here the draw event. All I'm doing is drawing the view X view and the mouse X position just to help us out so you can see what's going on. And here's the real control is right here in the step. So you'll see my two questions here. I'm asking, is the mouse X position? Now this is always the X position inside the room itself. It's not the X position inside your uh, Windows window of your game, right? It's the actual X position in the room where the mouse is. So all I'm going to say is if the mouse X position is less than view X view 0, and for this one I'll say plus 200, which is halfway through the view, right? If the top left corner right here is at 700, the center line is plus 200, which would be 900, right? So it's half the width you add on. And that's all I've done here. View X view 0 plus half the width, right? I've added another little condition here. Make sure view x view 0 is greater than 2. That's just to make sure that you haven't moved your view so far over that you can't actually, whoops, that you haven't moved this view so far over. Let's see here. I can't for some reason use a scroller. But if you make the view go way, 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 way over here, right? You don't want to go any further to the side. So that's my little check here. Make sure you're bigger than 2 
before you try to move that view to the left two pixels. Anyways, if the mouse is to the left of the center line and there's room to move, then actually tell the view to move over two pixels in the X direction. So you manually set it. And then I do the same thing for right. If the mouse X position is larger, and I'll just set that to 200, to half uh, the view window there, and I'm not already all the way to the edge, right? 2000 was my total edge, minus 400 for the width of the view, minus two pixels, because I'm about to move two pixels over. So you can think about that one slower on your own, and it, it does make sense. Then I just move the view over. So that's that effect you're seeing here. And when we actually do it with the mouse, you can watch the numbers, and they should make sense, that right now, you know, X views at zero. This top corner is at the very left of the room. But as the mouse will slowly cross 200, you can see I start moving two pixels a step over and over. And even if the mouse is really far away, it keeps going. Now this will keep going until I hit the 2000 mark and it'll stop. Okay? And so you can see the center line, it's perfect on that center line, right? And if you watch these numbers here, it's all about when they're different by the 200 value, right? Because 200 pixels took us to the center. So that's perfect. Now, that we told you was the sort of the lame version. So what I'm going to do here with my simple scroll is I'm just going to comment this one out because usually students say, well, that one is okay, but it's too slow. It's not what happens in like StarCraft, right? Or some of the other games. Usually what you get is you get this effect. Um, I just call it the elastic scroll because it sort of uses a physics equation that elastic bands use, but call it whatever you want. Here's what we do for this one. I'm just going to change this to 200 and 2. Let's put that to 200. Sorry, I was using different values with other things. There we go. So the way this one works is it's the same condition. If the X of the mouse is less than halfway through that view window and there's room to move, I'm going to move the X view by a certain amount, right? I'm going to move it to the right. So I'm going to add on. But what I'm doing here is I'm only going to change it by a value based on the difference between the mouse position and the center of the room. So that's what I'm doing there is I'm taking the difference between the mouse X position and the center of the view, which is view X view 0 plus 200. Notice that's the same as there. It's the center line of what you're seeing. The bigger this difference means the farther away the mouse is from the center line of the view. And that's going to mean a bigger number that you're adding or minusing on. And so you'll see a faster scroll the farther you move away from the center line. Now this divide by 15 is just there because if you actually didn't put the divide by 15 and you just did a pretend value like uh, let's say the mouse was 100 pixels away from the center line. Well, you don't want to add 100 onto the view. That's way too much in one step, and it's going to be flying by, right? It won't make any sense. So it's nice to do, you know, values like 15, values like 20, and it just takes the edge off it, right? So even if you're 100 pixels away divided by 20, you're only going to be moving four pixels in that one step, which is reasonable. So let's just give this one a go, and you'll see the other way is exactly the same. We'll give it a go here. And basing the change on the difference, that's another popular game technique. So here I go. I'm going to go left a little. It's slow. But the faster I go, you can see it's going to be more of a change. Right? And when I go to the left, it starts to speed up again. And it's such a simple equation, right? Take the difference between the center line X and the mouse X, and that determines, you know, the speed of the scroll. Genius. You fiddle with the numbers and get it to work like you want it to work. Now, some students also say, well, I don't want it to move at all when the mouse is here. Like, make this the dead zone. You know, if you want a little bit of a dead zone where there's no effect whatsoever, which is understandable, you can just do this. So instead of plus 200, maybe you make it plus 250, plus 250. And you can, you know, change those around if you want. 
And that way, when you do that one, what you end up getting is you end up getting it so it's, uh, whoops, that shouldn't be 250. That one should be 150, right? 150 is not quite as much to the center. 250 is a little bit past the center. So now what we end up getting is we get this dead zone where there's going to be no effect, which is nice, right? No effect. But when I go past that point, and it still speeds up. So it's a nice little effect. Good enough for beginners. Hope you have fun with that one. Projects are all there at gameprogrammingcourse.com. Have fun with it. Hey guys, if you like this video, why not click the like button, or even better, subscribe to this channel, share it with a couple friends. That's what keeps us going. Thanks.